One of our country's biggest problems today, estimates for destruction to school facilities alone is over $100 million per year. And counting all acts of vandalism to public and private property, some experts push the figure to over $1 billion every year. Of course, a billion dollars is only money. But what about the tens of thousands of these young people convicted of these crimes? By far, the largest number of offenders are young people who have the most to lose by getting caught at such actions. Not surprisingly, employers and others consider vandalism as a criminal act. Therefore, former vandals may lose access to jobs, schools, organizations, or things wanted later in life. Oh, it's serious business, but when asked why they did it, the usual answer was, for fun. What you do with the cops, Kate? What do you mean what I do? Just acting natural. But they caught you red-handed, didn't they? Yeah, but they can't do anything about it. How? You okay? I thought it was fun. I understand how you feel, but while we certainly can't condone the breaking of school property, shouldn't we try to understand it in terms of pent-up feelings? I mean, we all have times when it would be fun just to break something. We should find something better to do now the time of breaking windows. I think it's really dumb to break things. Breaking windows is stupid because somebody's always got to pay for them. And it might be one of us. And none of us can afford it. Besides, you wouldn't like it if somebody did it to your house. These days, I work almost full-time fixing school windows that kids break. It's not so hard to do, but glass costs a lot of money. And it takes time I could better spend on other jobs. They don't know it, but the students that break the glass wind up paying for it one way or the other. Because now, many schools take the cost out of recreational and athletic equipment. And if they get caught, chances are they'll have to pay for it anyhow. I hope you realize this is a very serious matter, Howard. What do you think I should write in the report as the reason for you breaking the window? Oh, I don't know. I guess I guess I just had this rock in my hand, and oh, I just had to throw it at something. That's no reason. You're going to have to pay for this yourself. The total cost of the destruction from vandalism is high. 
In some schools, it runs as high as $30 per student per year. And contrary to popular belief, vandalism is not limited to poor or city areas, nor to boys. There's twice as much vandalism now as 10 years ago, and an increase in it seems always to trigger an increase in even more serious crime. Vandalism forecasts crime in an individual or in a community. Take the case of a group of four teenage boys in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. They had decided as a prank they would break the windows of a rival high school. The presence of the gun, it was said, was only to avoid a fight with students of the other school. But they decided to first open up a hydrant near the school. A kid who lived there tried to intervene. A fight started. One can well argue that this was not an act of vandalism. True, but the point is, it erupted from the same destructive tendency and grew out of an intention to destroy. The common ingredient in acts of vandalism is emotionalism. Whether the act is initiated as merely a prank or an act of vengeance, vandalism releases feelings. However, this may be costly to self-esteem. A vandal is defined as one who willfully, wantonly, and ignorantly damages and destroys valuable or beautiful things. There's nothing wrong with dissent, it's healthy. But destroying art is sick. Maybe you're mad at the school, but busting something doesn't help. I just think it's childish. Let's hold down the noise. We're all talking once, we can't get anywhere. John, you were saying? Yeah, vandalism at our school is caused by students. So I say we should be the ones to control it. We can have special patrols every evening. I disagree. Me too. Why, Susan? Seems that we're all in control. So rather than guard the school, maybe we could have an honor system to report any offenders. That's a good idea. But why not go further? Let's try to raise money to buy yard lights. Destruction may seem fun when you do it, but it's dumb when you have to pay for it. More and more people are having to pay for their acts of vandalism. Parents, or the students themselves, must pay damages. And some courts have allowed fines amounting to double or triple the costs. Anybody who destroys something punishes himself. You can't feel good about it. It is sometimes said that whenever anyone commits an act of vandalism, all of us share in the blame. Certainly, we all have a stake in the results. And as individuals, we can help prevent vandalism by warning anyone who talks of destruction about the consequences, watching the school buildings whenever we're around them, and supporting the idea that vandalism really is dumb. There may be a time when everyone has to challenge the system. With some kids, that means destructive behavior. The answer is helping them adjust. Vandalism may lead to other things. 
If it results in a cheap thrill, some people may try other criminal behavior until they get caught, and then it's too late. If you get angry enough, you might do it, so just cool it. Having fun means doing things which make you feel good at the time you do it, and later on, too. There are lots of ways of having fun, but they don't stay fun if someone is injured or property is destroyed. But vandalism, for its own sake, doesn't make any sense. It's a little like the boy who was beating his head with a hammer and said he did it because it felt so good when he stopped. You'd feel fine if you never did it in the first place. Fun is a state of mind and really has nothing to do with destruction. Oh, maybe there is a point to getting a thrill out of breaking something at first. But those who've tried it can tell you it's a pretty cheap thrill, not worth the bother. But let's face it, you're not going to take anyone's word for it. And finally, you'll have to decide for yourself. Is it fun or is it dumb? Just dumb.